Hello and how are you guys? Um, welcome to my quick explanation of uh, tactics, uh, tactic building and squad building. Uh, it's very simple. Um, this is the way I do tactics and the way I build a squad around the tactic or the tactic around the squad. First thing is you should build a tactic. This is a tactic uh, I've been using on most of my FM uh, saves, it FM 15, FM 16, and I'll probably the tactic I will be using on FM uh, 17 as well. And as you guys can see, this is a tactic that probably will not work on every club. And why? This is because this is a formation which I like to play with and I build the team around it. Um, you should always uh, use a formation that you feel comfortable playing with, but still fit your team. Or the money that you spend rebuilding the team to fit the tactic you want to use is money that you have so that you don't end up like having a below average player in some positions so um, quick rundown why do I use this tactic I I either use a 4231 or a 42442 uh, and the reason I do it is because I feel it's consistent in the back good support for the attack and decent attack the way I do it is uh, my my first defenders are up here as you can see ball winning midfielders I got two ball winning midfielders no why do I have two ball winning midfielders because here this is all attack but I since I have uh, complete wing backs they are the game builders so finishers get the ball build the game with ball playing defenders now ball playing defenders is a very tricky thing to use so um, make sure you have proper place for that position because it's it's very tricky to use but the thing is since i have these four guys here basically building the uh, the, the game i have these two here defending so defending starts up front and this is speci especially good if the other team is playing uh, a more defensive formation if you're playing a more attacking formation it could be bad you could get caught because you have your 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 wing backs uh, attacking but that's not what i want to focus in what i want to focus is roles I have four attacking roles, two defensive roles, and four building roles. And this is something you have to um, you have to be careful with. You don't want too many players defending. You don't want too many players attacking. You don't want too many players building because if you do so, you will be lacking somewhere else. And same thing with uh, with building uh, with the. Uh, creative players creative players that are here these two are not creative they're both playing defenders but they are not creative ball winning is not creative shadow striker is not creative inside forwards are not creative who are the creative uh, players here the complete wing backs and to some extent the sweeper keeper so always have in mind not have too many creative players if you have uh, a lot of creative players you should use highly structured so that you don't have uh, you don't have too many too much problems uh, if you don't have if you don't use too many creative players you can go all the way to very fluid but since you don't have creative players you're asking everyone to go out of their comfort zone and build uh, up the play. And that, in my opinion, is important for a successful team. You could also not have uh, creative players and play structured. And that 
will have you um, focus more on counterattacks, pretty much. But the mentality here is standard, which is just a tick away from uh, from counter. I would use counter if I would be using here highly structured. Since I'm not, since I'm just using structured, I'm using standard mentality, and that is a balance that you have you have to find it. Because most people just go like, oh, this roll, this roll, this roll. And now let's put this in an attacking mentality. Attacking mentality is good. If you, uh, if here you're using something that goes along with it. You have attacking mentality, you probably want flexible or fluid, or even very fluid. Then again, you need to look at what roles you have, be, you have here. So always take into account, don't have like probably three to four uh, creative players, probably the maximum you should go because uh, if you have four, you will have six players to do all the other roles, being the roles of getting the ball and the role of getting the ball, finishing and building. You have three things that need to be done. And you have six players to do that so that's a bit too much but three would be my top three creative players that's let's you have seven players to win the ball create moves and finish not on squad building uh, this is not the optimal um this is not the optimal team but uh, i will show it here that's actually better you should always have Two players for each position uh, there are positions that you have you should have more and i will explain so let's say you're using this tactic you should always have two guys here for the left side two guys here for the right side you should have four guys as uh central defenders now those four guys one of them will probably be constantly on, on the bench and that should be a good backup player very good. Maybe someone going, someone older that you can still rely on, but will probably not do like 90 minutes or something like that, but you still want him because he will be touring your fourth central defender, which should be a kid, like some a youngster that you brought up from from the, the under 20s or something like that. Someone, someone that will not see much football but that will, um, that will be training with the main team and that will be tutored by your probably the best central defender. So you want two starting ones, a good backup probably like age of 32 or something like that, that could tutor someone. Here is exactly the same thing. You want four of them as well. And why? Again, two starter ones. One maybe older that can come as a sub, or one when one of them has a yellow card or something like that, he can come uh, and sub. Or um, and um, a younger one to just sit and be tutored and to come to the bench every now and then, or even play one of those rapid uh, cup matches. On the wings, you want two players, be it youngsters, be it good subs. That's your decision. But you want two of them. Along, same with the with, uh, Shadow Striker or uh, the Tagging Midfielder. It all depends on how many players you're using up in the attack. So, up here, as a striker, if you're using two strikers, you should have four, uh, four, uh, four strikers in your, in your squad. And the, the same rule will apply that applies to the midfield and to the defense. But if you're using one here, you want to have three. And why is that? Because if one gets injured, you need someone to come for to his place, and then you need a sub on the bench. And I would do the same thing as I would do with the with the other positions. Have a good one, probably not as aging, and but someone that is good and doesn't mind being on the bench, and a youngster for two or three seasons up. And then it comes to. The goalkeeper. Why did I, why did I leave goalkeeper fast? Because goalkeeper is the, it's it's the hardest place to have a good backup. 
Because if you have a good starting player, great. If you have a good backup, he will start wanting first team football. And that will become problematic because, hey, I, I have Geronimo Rui here. Can I have Joe Hart as a sub? I can. Probably five matches in, he'll probably, uh, hey, hey, dude, um, I want some first team football. Can I have that? And there is a problem. So you need someone there that doesn't mind uh, being on the bench. Has to be somewhat good, just in case your starting player has too many yellow cards or injuries. It has to be good enough to be there for two, three, four games, maybe, and the team not get too, um, too damaged because of it. But at the same time, needs to be okay with being on the bench an entire season because otherwise he won't start any games because that's not the player he wants starting then the third goalkeeper will be a youngster uh under 18 under 20 someone like that someone you want to develop it will be tutored by your best goalkeeper and that will start on your cup matches as well so the the perfect squad would be between 23 players or 24 players. 23 players if you're using two guys up front, 24 players if you're only using one, because you would need an extra one there. And that's the perfect squad. There is no need to have a squad of 40 players. Doesn't matter how many games you have in a season, there is no need for that. What you need is good squad rotation in case you need it. You need good, and I'll show you. Training, as you can see, 68% balance and 25% fitness. I always do fitness training when I have games close together. Always go for fitness training so that they recover fitness. Also, remember to rest your players. If you're by 70, just, just training, rest. The match is in three days, let him rest for two days. He'll be fresh. And you won't have too many injuries like that. At the moment I have two injuries, but those were in-game injuries, not training injuries. And that's that's how you should do it. Also, you should clear your under uh, 21s and your under 18 squads. If if the players are not good enough, clear it. Give them free, uh, free transfer. As you can see, this is my under 18s. There are not many players there. They all have great potential. My under 21s, same thing. Either great potential players or players that I'm looking to move on. And that's what you have to do. Because uh, I've seen, and, and on FM 15, you could see that uh, Parma had over 200 players. And that would injure the, the club finances. So this is how I, I do tactics. This is how I um, squad build. Sorry if the video uh, is a bit confusing. This is the first time I'm I'm doing this. I have nothing written down. I'm just this is a quick explanation before FM17 comes out, so that uh, you guys can enjoy it. Um, do drop a, a a follow on my Twitch. Um, when FM17 comes out, I will be streaming it uh, heavily. Uh, do subscribe to this uh, YouTube channel as well. I will be posting FM17. Uh, tips and tricks as well. Well, not tricks, tips. And um, yep, I hope to see you soon. Cheers, everyone.